Welcome to tutorial 5 in the OCC Weather Center and how to use some of the OCC Weather Center features. Tutorial 5 looks at lightning. We offer lightning data to our subscribers right across Australia and the surrounding waters around Australia. Sometimes satellite imagery and radar imagery can only tell part of the tale and we actually need some lightning data to uh, show parts of say a thunderstorm that are developing which will show up with a renewed burst of lightning or a new burst of lightning uh, or parts of the thunderstorm that might be decaying uh, which will pop, pop up as blue on the lightning data or it may not show much lightning at all. So this is why lightning can come in very handy. It can often be the first sign that something is developing or something is weakening. On the OCC Weather Centre to access lightning all you have to do is go to your layers section and in introduce the lightning overlay and you can see here by clicking it it is now active now sometimes there's so much lightning that it engulfs the images and so sometimes we want to make lightning opaque and so we change the opacity level and that changes how see-through the lightning is that's very handy in thunderstorms in the top end and thunderstorms in parts of Queensland in the afternoons where there's so much lightning in them uh, that uh, and, and the Pilbara too, I should say, that it's so difficult to actually see what's going on in terms of rain intensity because the lightning really engulfs everything else. So sometimes it's nice to have a see-through version of the lightning so we can still see what's going on underneath that or over the top of that with the radar imagery. So when we access Lightning, we can access it at all different zoom levels, so both from a national perspective, but then also we can zoom into individual areas and all the way into 32 kilometres. So we can get some high resolution looks at where the Lightning is. Lightning, what you'll find, is in little crosses and little circles. Now, when you see a little circle, it means the Lightning occurs between cloud to cloud. When you see the little crosses, that means the Lightning is actually hitting the ground. The colouring scheme of the lightning, the whiter the lightning shade is, it means that the most recent the lightning has hit. So the most recent is the pure white. So these pure white images where my cursor is, those are reflective of lightning that has hit in the last five minutes. When we take it right out to the blue, which is the, or the, the purple out here, which is the, lo the lowest or the, the longest duration lightning, that's the stuff that happened half an hour ago so what we can see here is a scale that that has six different levels and the white is the level that shows us within five minutes of the latest radar image is when that lightning hit all the way to that uh, blue faded sort of purpley color that shows us that the lightning hit 30 minutes ago and you can see the six different shadings in this image here uh, of how recent the lightning has been. So obviously the faded sort of pink is the, is the next most recent. That's within five to ten minutes of the image and so on and so forth. So what we're looking for in lightning imagery is where the new whites are happening. So where is all the new lightning happening? Because that tells us where the thunderstorm is growing or intensifying. Uh, we also want to see the pattern of the lightning. So the older the strikes back through here reflect that the lightning is pushing towards the southeast which means the storm is pushing in that direction as well or it's developing in that direction sometimes storms will push in this direction but they might develop further and further to the north as they go in that direction so they might give you the illusion that they're changing direction but they're not really they're just developing on one edge and so the actual storm motion remains this way but the storm might be developing further and further to the north or further and further to the south. And so these are clues that can, uh, that can be sought out by the using the lightning data. Lightning data is exclusive to our paid subscribers on the OCC Weather Centre. At the bottom of the image, there will be a total CCs and a total CGs number. So that means how many lightning strikes over the last half an hour have hit between cloud cover or between the clouds. And you can see here there's a nice even split. There's 30 odd over the last half an hour in this entire image have hit between the cloud and 30 odd that have also hit between cloud to ground. So normally what happens globally, we have about 70 or 75% of lightning strikes don't hit the ground and we have about 20 to 25% that do hit the ground. And so normally you'll find that the CC's number will be much higher than the CG's number. And that's lightning strikes in the last half an hour 
in this entire region. So this includes the entire region. So obviously if we zoom right into say 32 kilometers, that number will shift and change. And you can see here that there's no lightning strikes in the last half an hour within 32 kilometers of Port Hedland. So every time we shift the location range, this number will change. Every time we shift the time frame, this number will change as well. So you can see here uh, that this number changes as I scroll through. Uh, and that change reflects the either increasing or decreasing amount of lightning over this region. Also a very handy tool to find out how much lightning storms are producing over a smaller area.